Hey guys, so today I want to talk about my top three favorite cruelty-free foundations. And these aren't just my favorite because they're cruelty-free. I love them. And as I was doing some research, I realized that these all are cruelty-free. I know that cruelty-free isn't necessarily healthier for you, but I just have so much makeup that I've purchased in the past that I was really trying to find a way to not waste all of it. Maybe eventually I can let go of everything that just has toxins that's not cruelty free. But you know, that we'll see. That's a process. That is a process. I have a lot of makeup that I love that I don't want to get rid of or stop using. So I don't know. So that that's the mission here eventually. So the first foundation I want to talk about is the Too Faced Born This Way. I um, have been using this probably for a couple months now. I do have an entire video talking about this foundation, so I will link that down below. It's a full review and it's also a demo. Um, so if you guys are interested in seeing that, I will have that available for you to check out. I love this foundation in the summer, but I'm finding that I love it much more in the fall. It lasts a lot better on my skin in the cooler weather. It doesn't break up as quickly. I do still need to powder, but I absolutely love the finish on this, so it is 100% worth it for me. It's definitely more of a dewy skin-like finish, which is my favorite finish. I don't like matte finishes, we all know this. and I don't like anything that is overly dewy either. Especially because I do have combination oily skin that can really just be overkill. So this is the perfect amount of dewiness. It makes my skin look fresh and hydrated. So I absolutely love this. The next foundation actually isn't technically a foundation. It is a tinted moisturizer, let's say. But it is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. I purchased this back in June. Now Bare Minerals is owned by Shiseido, which is not a cruelty-free company. But as far as I can tell, Bare Minerals is. I was on the PETA website and a couple other websites trying to research and every site that I found uh, shows that Bare Minerals is a cruelty-free brand. Although I think it was mentioned that they do have some brushes that aren't cruelty-free. But um, Bare Minerals products are cruelty-free apparently. So that's great. This is called a Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. This is absolutely divine on the skin. It feels like a moisturizer, um, but it's not heavy or oily feeling. It really is like a gel. It's lightweight, but it's hydrating, so I love that. The finish of this is absolutely beautiful. I find the pigmentation is more concentrated than other uh, tinted moisturizers or like BB or CC creams, let's say. Uh, so it does have a nice medium, I would say, like light to medium coverage. It's not incredibly sheer, like you still get good coverage out of it. Even though it is technically a tinted gel cream, I find the coverage is absolutely perfect for everyday use for me. I've also mix this in with fuller coverage foundations and it's given me a very nice effect. So if you're looking to maybe thin out a heavier foundation, this is absolutely perfect for that as well. And the last foundation I want to talk about is from Arbonne, and this is the Perfecting Liquid Foundation. This is actually what I'm wearing right now. Arbonne is a cruelty-free, and it's actually vegan certified. This is definitely more of a medium to full coverage. It is very buildable. What I love about this, though, is that it kind of dries to a, not powdery finish, but a soft finish, so it doesn't feel wet or heavy on the skin, but it also gives the skin a really nice, natural, radiant look without looking dewy or oily, if that makes sense. So it doesn't look wet, but it looks radiant. So I absolutely love the finish of this foundation. I think it's fantastic. I don't set my entire face when I wear this foundation. I really will only set the T-zones and that's it because I really don't want to mess with the finish of this foundation. It's been rare over the past month and a half that I've reached for anything else. I can go about six hours before I need to do any like small touch-ups, just like in the center of my forehead and my chin, and I'm good to go. It doesn't break up anywhere else on my skin, and I just really cannot get enough of this finish. And it just has a really lightweight feel with nice coverage. I think like almost every time I've worn this, I've gotten a compliment on my skin. Like people have stopped me and told me that I have the most beautiful skin they've ever seen, which I thank you very much. Um, but yeah, so 
I just, I love this stuff. If you guys are interested in finding out which brands are cruelty free, you can always hop on the PETA website. I believe they have a full list, um, or you can just Google cruelty free makeup brands. Definitely a step in the right direction. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye.